Hello, my name is Jamie Nieto, two-time Olympian, 04 and 2012 this year. I'm a high jumper and uh, I'm a high jumper and uh, my chances of actually winning the gold, I think uh, it's anybody's game that day. And uh, right now I'm just focused on making it into the finals and once I get into the finals, I'll be focused on making a medal. So you just got to take your steps. What I'm thinking about when I'm getting ready to start performing and jumping and stuff, uh, mainly thinking about just staying focused, watching, uh, visualizing myself run this perfect approach and jump over the bar perfectly. So uh, those are the main things I think about. Sometimes in between that, I'm thinking about kind of what motivates me to do those things. I think about my mom. I think about positive influences in my life. I think about, you know, positive affirmations and things of that nature. So that's what I think about when I'm competing. <laughs> my hometown, I live in Sacramento. I, mean, I live here in San Diego, in Tula Vista, and I'm from Sacramento, California. And so what is your town? Are they being very supportive? Yeah, they're being great. They're, um, you know, they've been supportive of me since the first Olympic team that I made. Uh, all the coaches back there uh, call me and congratulate me. And, uh, you know, my friends and family are super excited and happy about, you know, me making another Olympic team. It, if and when I win a medal, the first thing I'm going to do is probably fall to my knees and thank God. Uh, the second thing I'll probably do is start crying. And then I'll probably look for my mom and my coach in the stands and uh, just really embrace the whole uh, feeling of it. And and take my victory lap, something that I've always wanted to do with the flag, and then also obviously get on the podium. I think that would be an overwhelming experience, and I'd be super elated. And I, and I thank God, and I hope to God that it that comes to pass, you know? How does it feel to represent your country? Uh, it's an overwhelming feeling of, of pride and joy. You know, as a kid, I never was really, really patriotic. But then once I traveled the world with uh, track and field, I started to seeing. I started seeing that you know the United States is the best country to be. And so to be able to put the USA across my chest and and represent the United States, it's it's a, like I said, an overwhelming feeling of pride and joy. And yeah. do you have any height predictions? Height predictions. Uh, well, typically, just statistically speaking, seven eight on your first attempt normally gets a medal seven eight and three corner seven eight and three quarters normally wins it so somewhere around there would be a great uh jump to to do and have you done both those i've done seven eight before and that's when i placed fourth at the olympics in 04 so uh i'm right there you know this year i've jumped seven seven so far i I'm, i believe that i'll do it again and you know if it's raining the heights might be a little bit lower so and and i'm a pretty good jumper in the rain so I, i'm looking forward to it one way or another i think it's going to be a great experience be blessed